I'm joined by one of our lovely speakers, Jo Thornhill. Jo, what have you been talking about up on the stage? Um, well, I've, I've, I've joined um, Laura and Sarah in a talk about um, conscious colour directions, which brings together some of my research into well-being and, and sort of holistic living at home with um, sort of very trend-based colour forecasting and, and um, how, how we can use colour to... Um, to support sustainability and recycled, all, all that kind of area. So, so kind of very ethical and, and eco and sustainable. So you are a stylist and an author. Like, what does that mean for your day-to-day? Um, it means that no day-to-day is the same, really, which is, which is quite nice to have that variation. So I, I generally do uh, commercial styling for brands, so helping them create their imagery for their website or, or kind of brochures and lookbooks, that kind of thing. Um, and then my writing is uh, I write books and also um, I work um, doing trend forecasting work for WGSN, the forecasting agency. So I kind of work with them to create emerging, pull together emerging trends that are happening across the sort of interiors and lifestyle sector. And in terms of trend forecasting, can you give us any retailers out there your your top tips? <laughs> um, well, I think so. I was I was saying to someone earlier that kind of full trend forecasting is almost a bit of a dark art, and and the trend forecasters look sometimes up to sort of ten years or so into the future at these sort of really bigger lifestyle things. So, I think I think to me what's interesting about trends is is um, sort of realizing and appreciating the difference between kind of trends and fads i think often we can get tied up in like oh this is the latest trendy color or pineapple prints or something like that whereas it's actually looking at a slightly bigger picture of kind of what's happening in the world what's happening in the environment that's going to shape um how how we sort of create and produce things and, and consume things in in the future um looking at what people are doing on the streets on, on Instagram that kind of thing and looking at what sort of small brands and, and makers are doing I think that's really interesting and, and that's often what a lot of the big retailers then see what these kind of small interesting makers like a lot of the people who will be here at Top Draw they see what they're doing and then that will sort of go on to inform their own collections so I think trends is kind of quite a big a big meaty topic really <laughs> um, and tell us about your new book Yes, yeah, so it's called um, The New Mindful Home and how to make it yours. <laughs> I don't know if I should look in the camera. <laughs> um, yes, The New Mindful Home and how to make it yours. Uh, it's published by Lawrence King. And it's just a, a, it's quite niche, but yet also quite broad at the same time. So it's kind of looking into lots of different topics that relate to how we can decorate in a way that is supportive of our own well-being and also supportive of the environment and the planet and our surroundings because I think it's really important to for the two of those elements to to kind of come together really because I think you can't you can't be truly sort of mindful of yourself without thinking about the impact that your decisions have of what you're buying and how you're consuming things um so yeah so it, it, it looks at lots of different areas that that kind of help help turn that that sort of possibly quite lofty concept into something that's actually really practical that anybody can do in their in their own homes and it sort of covers uh yeah it also covers kind of craft and making um biophilia that connection to nature so so lots of different things lots of different things are in there oh, wow um and how does it feel to be here at top draw it's really exciting it's still quite kind of novel to be i think yeah this will be my first trade show i think since 20 19 actually because at the start of 2020 I was um I was working on this <laughs> I barely left my house for three months so um anyway so um so yeah it's, it's lovely to be back um and it's it's just really ins- I sort of had forgotten how inspiring it can be to just sort of discover new things in the flesh and actually speak to people I was I was looking at one of the stands earlier happened to just be sort of picking something up and then got chatting to the lady that, that runs the, the business and learned so much more about it and just having that kind of conversation in real life was was just a really lovely lovely thing to be able to do again joe thank you so much thank you